kita mau ke Norman Rare Gitar suka vintage mari kita lihat Norman Rare Gitar kita bisa ketemu Normannya sama Mark Agnesi dan juga Brip to Norma
sekarang gue nyobain Gibson Les Paul Deluxe ini harganya 3.795 tahun 76 men 76 gue belum lahir kita coba ini Tunjukin sama Norman nih gitar kita. So this is where you put your guitar. Uh, this is some of them, but there's about six or seven hundred. Hey Mark, hey, how are you? Find it or you want to call? Oh, this. Is... So, your your first name again? I'm Rama. Rama, okay. Yes. All right. So Rama, I was going to show you, um, we have a lot of guitars in the store. Yeah. We've sold a lot of guitars this month, but we do have a warehouse where we have about six or seven hundred more guitars. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of really beautiful things like uh, there's a 65 Strat in All right. the Placid Blue. Black Placid Blue, whoa. Yeah. Very oh. rare guitar. So there's a lot of guitars back here in cases that we don't pull out that are more the high-end guitars okay that we show by appointment and mm -hmm. that kind of thing a lot of basses this is a 1955 fender esquire um, okay in beautiful cool. condition how much is it this this one is about twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five thousand. wow 55 right mm -hmm. wow very rare yeah so Average monthly, how much you you, you bought a guitar? For the store? As I say, it varies tremendously. We're always mm -hmm. buying and we're always looking for things, mm -hmm. but we're particular. We try to buy good stuff, you mm -hmm. know, because our customers, you know, we want to give them the best stuff we can. This okay. is a guitar over here that my son is holding. Mm -hmm. This is a Stromberg Master 400. This is a really major arch top. This is from 1951. This is one of the rarest guitars. On earth. <laughs> yeah, on earth. Wow. Where do you get this? Uh, this I got in a very big collection that was two and a half million dollars for this collection. This is one of the guitars, this was 45,000. Wow, very high yeah. price. Well, these are very difficult to find. Mm -hmm. One of the uh, rarest jazz guitars. Mm -hmm is Stromberg. D'Angelico and Stromberg were mm -hmm. the two premier boutique builders mm -hmm. for the top guitar players of okay. their day. What year is that? 1951. 1951. Master 400. So this is your warehouse, right? No, this is not the warehouse. Okay, you I have another, another warehouse. Place where there's six or seven hundred guitars. Six or seven hundred guitars, All right. When did you first start it? Uh, I collecting this all vintage 60s late 60s mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in, in Miami, Miami Florida okay and then uh, I've been doing this since I was very young mm -hmm. I love it and mm -hmm. I love the old guitars they really are the, the best okay and uh, you know now it's becoming world famous mm -hmm. now we're getting a lot of Chinese buyers yeah. people who are now being aware that these old guitars are very collectible mm -hmm. and we call it functional art. So people that have money, sometimes they buy paintings, mm -hmm. but all you can do with a painting is stare at it. Yeah. The guitar, you make music. So it says Master functional. 400 on that one. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a Master 400. Cool. And there's, we just have a lot of really great guitars that mm -hmm. are not out, uh, that we show by appointment. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for something in particular, we might be able to find it for you. If we don't have it, mm -hmm. there's a good chance we might already have it though. Okay. Did the social media thing right now help you a lot that everybody oh, yeah. looking We're, for vintage guitars yeah, in Yeah, there's Roman. so many people that are now familiar with the store mm -hmm. because of our social media. Mm -hmm. We have videos, probably about 600 videos, yeah. 50 million views on our videos. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's crazy. So, but it's really helped us a lot. 
Cool, cool. Thanks a lot, Norm. All right, thank All you. Right. See you at them? No. Uh, maybe. You go, you go? All right. But if I can help it, I'll get out of there quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank Say you. Hi. That's my son, Jordan. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm, nice uh, to meet you. I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. You guys are famous in my country. Oh, good. Well, Everybody's you. talking about One of those other guys from Spain, you know, I mean, we get from Many all over the world. Right? Right. So, but that's the thing about social media is that it exposes you everywhere. Yes, so. it's big power. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And this is our Filipina. No, yeah. Oh, this is uh, this is the one who's filming. She's yeah. all the Norman right. Rare. She no. is the Filipina Fellini. No. Okay. Right there, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not a camera. <laughs> You're on the camera shy. right now. I'm camera shy. Hey Mark. Yeah. How often you make a video in the week or in the month? Well, we do guitar in the day every single every day, day that we're open. Every so day. Five days a week, and then sometimes I'll end up playing on something else that she's got up her sleeve. Okay. Yeah. I think we're between five to eight videos a week. A week, probably. so it's like probably well, I do about two to two to, two three to four, a day. two to three to four a day. Okay, so maybe it's like thirty to forty video a month. Oh, in oh. a week, sometimes seven times four is twenty-eight. Almost yeah, twenty twenty to thirty videos a week. So many videos that you haven't been posted yet, right? Yeah, I have a lot of videos I need to post. <laughs> so. It's been busy. <laughs> I've been busy. I'm the only one, so. You, know, gotta, you you also do editing stuff? Yeah, I do the edit and I do the um the website and the social media. So mm -hmm. if you see us on Instagram, so Facebook, it's you. that's that's me. Hi. I'm the girl behind the camera. <laughs> you guys, do you speaking of which we're about to film it right yeah, now? Yeah, we're okay. gonna film it, so Can you say something to your fans in Indonesia? Indonesia. Thanks for watching, man. Yeah. We like uh, we like making these. I appreciate the fact that you guys watch them. You can you can sit and watch how watch how it's done, man. Watch the production value. Here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Ini si Mark lagi mau syuting buat Instagram sama uh, buat YouTube. Ini kita kasih kesempatan buat liputnya kita lihat nih. Asik banget, man. Day, man. Nam week day two. It just doesn't stop, man. There's been like hundreds and hundreds of people coming through the doors today. Everybody's in LA for this show. I've uh, been selling a bunch of guitars. Uh, Norm's gonna be out buying a bunch of stuff this weekend. There's gonna be a whole lot of new stuff coming in next week. Uh, so we're gonna make some room uh, for some of the new stuff coming in. Uh, I've got a pretty cool thing to show you guys today. One of the more player grade kind of things. I know you guys like it. A pair of Gibson's patent number. Gold humbugging pickups. We got the Bigsby uh, wiggle stick here. Uh, a lot of people always ask what this guy is. This is called the baritone. 340. Sekarang si Mark lagi mau nyobain gitar yang tadi dibilang sama dia. Kita masih di behind the scene Norman rare gitar kalau buat di social media. Check it out. One last question. Uh, the most expensive guitar that ever in Norman rare guitar. How much is it? Well, we've had. Okay. We've had uh, a number of guitars that mm -hmm. have gone well over a hundred thousand. We've had some that have been in the three and even more. Hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand, even more. Wow, that's the most expensive guitars in on your guitar. Yes. What, what time is it? Can you tell me? What? I'm sorry. What time? Sunburst. Sunburst. Let's go. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Whoa. Cool. George, Thank you very much. And uh, original flying V too. The the there. Almost. All the way to your left. Uh, Sunday, I'll be there. All right. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Tadi udah ngobrol-ngobrol. Jadi kesimpulannya adalah uh, harga gitar paling mahal yang pernah ada di Norman Rare Gitar adalah uh, Sunburst Les Paul tahun 59. Itu harganya lebih dari 300.000 dolar. Itu bisa beli rumah ya, Bro? Gila, men. Gila itu harganya. Itu bisa beli rumah kayaknya ya. Eh uh, Oke, okay. gue rasa dapur gear kali ini yang Norman Rare Gitar sudah 
masuk ke bucket list gue. Thank you guys. It's a great day. Salam dapur gear. See you. Kalau suka sama dapur gear, jangan lupa sekali lagi subscribe channelnya youtube.com slash dapur gear musik. Oke? Okay? youtube.com slash dapur gear musik terus kirim komen terus juga kirim uh, apa namanya requestnya mau apa aja mau nanya-nanya silahkan silahkan oke okay? sampai ketemu salam dapur gear